If you play Japanese style mahjong, also known as reach, and you have a set at home, try random pulls. It's a great way to learn all the yaku and decide with your drawn hand where the potential lies. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell when you do, that way you won't miss anything. Let's get to the random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I have the Hanchen indicator will alternate between east and south, and I have dice and we'll just roll the dice to randomize which seat we're in. And I have six tenbo. These will mark the random pulls. I'm gonna to try to do six in 15 minutes. That might be a good way to quicken your decision making. You really don't need to agonize over which yaku to play. So if you push yourself to do six in 15 minutes, I think it's great practice. Let's roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I'm gonna say we're in seat one, cause I rolled a five. That would be seat one. And let's pull Dora. Five bam is Dora. And this is the first random pull. No Dora. We do have chi potential though. That's an outlier. These are all isolated. There's a chi. So. I think I probably would play Pinfu and get rid of these first and try to draw in numbered tiles. We only have two, three honors. I was thinking we could maybe do terminals in all, but I don't think we have enough honors enough terminals. I think that's what I would do here, Pinfu. If you would do something different, write random pull one and what you would do differently for this random pull. Let's go to the next one, south round. Let's say we are in seat six, that would be south. Oh, we have a Pung of Green Dragons. That's a Yaku right there all by itself. Right there. Oh, let's pull Dora. Two or four crack is Dora. We've got a four crack. Right there. There's Dora right there. So I think what I would do I would just play as quick as I can. My Yaku would be the green dragon. And then I would have Dora in here. Here's a Chi. These are all isolated. So I would have to draw in here, but I think I would probably, oh, it's South round. If we paired that up, we could get a yaku for that too. So that's how I would play this. I would just play to win whatever I could. Chi, expose, that would be my yaku. Hope to pair up that south, but I would still chi these even if I didn't get that. I would discard it and just play to win as quick as possible with that dragon pwn. If you would do something different, right? Random pull two and what you would do differently.
back to east round, random pull three. We're gonna say we're at seat four. One honor. I would try for pin foo here. Discard that potential chi, or this could be a pair, but these would be isolated. There's a potential chi, isolated, isolated. There's a little chi potential here. Oh, this would be difficult. Oh, I forgot to pull Dora. Three Bam is Dora. We could maybe work that in here. And we have Akadora right there. So I would try for Pinfu on this one again also. It's a real common combination. Stack Dora where possible. If you would do something different, write random pull three and what you would do differently. Let's go to south round. And let's say we are in seat eight. Well, that's north. Ooh, we have lots of honors on this one. Well, it looked like we had lots of honors. They're all singles though. Maybe it was all this red and white. Hmm. Four single tiles there. I think what I would do first pull Dora. Five crack. So. I think I would keep BAMs and try for a half flesh, build around Akadora, try to pair up. If we're in seat four, we could hopefully pair up the north or the red or both. Discard these here. I think I would discard the dots first and see if I drew in cracks. Maybe pair up and use Dora or um, Akadora at least. Okay, let's go to the next one, East Round. And we are in seat 10. Seat 10, two, four, six, eight is South. Oh, let's pull Dora. Five dot, no Dora. But we do have Akadora. Oh my goodness. Boy, these random pulls have been a real challenge. Look at that. Just, I think I would try for Pinfu here again. Get rid of these. Here's a potential Chi. There's a pair. Potential, little bit of Chi potential in there. Isolated. Isolated. Here, oh, there's a potential chi. These are isolated. Goodness sakes. Ugh. But I think because there are so many numbered tiles, if we get rid of these single honors, we might be able to fill in some chi potential. I would try for pinfu here. If you would do something different, write random pull five and what you would do with this. Okay, last one, south round. We're gonna say we're at seat seven, which is south.
Okay, single wins. Not helpful. Mixture of tiles. Isolated tiles. Not helpful. Oh my goodness. Another rough go. There's only one. Huh? <laughs> wow. Two potential cheese and a pear. That's it. Oh goodness. This would be another challenging start. Very challenging start. If we went for a half flush, we would have six discards. Let's pull Dora. Seven bam, no Dora in here. We do have some bams. I think I would try for Pinfu, get rid of the winds, hope to draw Dora, build around maybe a little bit of chi potential around Dora with these if we could draw a seven bam. That's a lot of if. So that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write random pull six and what you would do. Oh my goodness. Those were quite challenging. And some of those were defense hands, just no shape at all. Isolated tiles. Oh my goodness. I suppose if you play defense and just plan not to throw the winning tile, you can skate through and then leverage the drawn hand that has good shape. Is that what you do? Write in the comment section what you do when you have hands like this. I would like to know that. I'm still learning, so I would love to know what to do when you have these sorts of hands. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn new strategies or gain an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. I'm hoping more and more people will comment so that I can learn too. Between now and the next set of random polls for Japanese style mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.